Okay, so now um, we're going to cook a um, bean stew and I'm going to be using a power hub at 2.4 kilowatt hours and it's going to power up a normal sized PC. So my ingredients here are onions, tomatoes, oil and some seasoning and some beans as well. Which I'm cooking. Mm. Okay, so now I'm going to plug in the instant pot to the power hub. Just like that. So we're going to put that here. Um, okay, so I got Simon to help me turn uh, this around so I can show you the rest of the demonstration. It is really heavy so I couldn't do it myself. So I'm just going to turn this on. And it is on now, and I'm going to put it on an AC so that the uh, PC can turn on. We'll just give it a moment. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lid off so that I'm able to fry my onions. And the setting I'm going to put on um, is saute, which will allow me to be able to put my oil and be able to fry my onions. So I'm going to put saute on this one. And then I'm going to put my oil. Okay, so it's on, as you can see. And I'm just going to let it sizzle for a little while before putting in my onions and stirring. And I'm going to put my tomatoes in. So while that is um, frying, we're going to use three beans. Um, we've got the black turtle beans, and the dongle peas, and lastly we're going to use five pinto beans as well. Just to further clarify, this EPC is being run by the power hub, so although you can see the wires, this is mainly just being run by the solar system. And as you can see, it is drawing about 920 watts. So um, now that my onions and tomatoes have been fried, I'm now going to add in the water for my three beans. So I'm first going to add in my pinto beans. I'm just going to take about a handful of uh, in each pack. Put in my blank, my black turtle beans. I'm going to use my gongo peas. So now that we're no longer um, frying and we now want to put the uh, lid on, I'm just going to press uh, cancel. And then I'm going to put my lid on and I'll put in the correct setting. So now I'm going to put in a uh, meat and stew setting. And it should run for about 35 minutes. So normally because these are hard and dry beans, it would usually take about three hours. 
but with the pressure cooker it should take about 35 minutes and uh, so what's going to happen now is that it's going to bring it to boil and then it's going to um, pressurize and then the timer for 35 minutes will start <laughs> okay so the valve has uh, closed because it has reached pressure and the 35 minutes has now started and it has switched off the heating element uh, so right now it's pressurized but the pressure has dropped and so now it's back onto 920 watts again and now it's gone off again okay so it base so it switches itself on and off um to keep the pressure so right now um the pressure is on so it switches itself off and then sooner it's going to rise up again and uh, to put the pressure back up so currently the EPC is reading low 13 which means that it switched itself off 13 minutes ago and as you can see the power hub is off so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick to uh, depressurize the EPC before taking off the lid <laughs> So the uh, valve made a little clicking noise, which basically means that what was locking the EPC is now unlocked, so I'm able to open up the lid, which I'm going to do now. So let's have a look. Oh. Ooh, nice. It does look good. I can smell it from here. Yeah. Just stir a little. I'm just going to go and get a fork. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've just mixed it a little bit to get my stew going and I'm just going to give it a little taste. Okay, it tastes good but I think they need maybe 5 more minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the pressure cooker again and reduce the time for the settings down to 5 minutes. So now I'm going to go back on uh, the stew section. And I'm just going to reduce my time down to five minutes. It's going to start back up again. It's going to um, bring to boil and then pressure and then the five minutes will stop. And as you can see, that's now powering up to 924 watts. Okay. So the five minutes has finished and it's now been over one minute since it's last pressurized. So I'm just going to flip the thing again. Um, but essentially, even though it has been um, switched off, because of the amount of pressure, it could still continue cooking for a little while longer. I just heard the click, so now that means I can open the lid. There we go. So these beans should be fully cooked now. So we stir. I'm just going to give it a try. definitely all well done now so i'm really pleased with that and it only took 40 minutes uh, with the added five minute time so there we go something that would have taken me three hours to cook was only took me about 35 45 minutes 40 minutes so uh yeah that's really good